What's up guys, PJ here from 3D Printing Canada. Today in front of me I have a little bit of a comparison video. So I've got two hot ends here from Creality. The old one and the high temperature one. Let's open these up and show you guys the difference. Alright, so what I have here is the first hot end Creality ever used or came out with. Alright, so let's open up this bag here. So this is the old school stock hot end. These are way outdated. This Bowden tube runs all the way down through this push fitting and sits on the top of the nozzle. So over time, the teeth that are inside this push fitting, okay, they actually create a groove in the tube and eventually it creates enough of a groove that it has movement and can free up away from the nozzle. And then eventually what happens is, is I'm gonna get a little pointer here and show you guys. Eventually what happens is, when that tube that's sitting on the nozzle lifts away from here, what happens is the filament will start to push past and seep through and get all up on here. And you might not notice at first, your prints start might to be under extruded, your prints might start to have weird blobbing or zits happening. Um, mostly they'll be under extruded, you'll hear clicking happening as it gets worse, but if it gets too bad, that filament can actually seep out. And we'll look down here again at the hot end and you'll see it'll seep out and it'll create that big blob of death as we call it. We'll end up with a huge ball of filament on the end of your hot end. So with that being said, there are other upgrades like micro slits and slice engineering and things you can do to your printer to alleviate those problems. But Creality went ahead and they did a high temperature hot end upgrade. And uh, they also have firmware available for that on their website. So what we'll do is we'll take and show you the new hot end here. So we're gonna open it up. It even comes with uh, a fan shroud. It comes with all your wiring, your thermistor and everything. So this is actually cartridge style thermistor inside here. They even give you the fan if you're switching out. Okay, and one of the key differences here is this is an all metal heat break, a bimetal heat break. And what that does is the tube probably stops somewhere around here. So it's not actually traveling through and touching your nozzle. And in this case, they've used a hardened steel nozzle and almost looks like a clone of a micro Swiss because that's pretty close to what a micro Swiss nozzle looks like. Normally you'd use a six mil wrench on the high temperature one here. You'd use a seven mil wrench to remove this nozzle. Um, so yeah, hardened steel bimetal heat break and you want to make sure those are heat tightened together. I like to use an adjustable wrench to hold the block as I heat tighten. Even though it's got these where you should be one handed, these little standoffs that are inside the heat block to hold it in place. I still like to put an adjustable wrench. It's just extra safety precaution that way you don't torque your heat break or anything because they are a lot more sensitive, these heat breaks in the thin areas where down here where they can eventually carbon fiber materials will break through the steel here um, and you'll get a leak. It always happens uh, when you use carbon fibers, uh, but this would totally be capable of printing any type of nylon, nylon carbon fiber, etc. cetera. Um, so let's put both of the hot ends out on the table now that we have them both out of the box. We'll compare the differences when you go with their old school style hot end, which is Bowden tube to nozzle versus the new style, which is metal to metal with a hardened steel nozzle with your heat bake break being all metal all the way through. So with that being said, this is definitely gonna cost you more money. It comes with a fan, um, it comes with everything you need, the fan shroud, the cooling fan. Um, you get the whole, the whole package with all the ends. Whereas with the other hot end that I believe is around $30, um, you get uh, only the thermistor and heater cartridge, 
the Bowden tube with only enough length, I would say for maybe a CR10 or an Ender 3 or maybe an Ender Max, uh, you know, and then you just get your standard heat sink throat because this isn't a heat break, it's called a throat because it's just passing tube through your sock and nozzle. So there's not a lot you would get with this one and there's not a lot you can print with this one. So with this one, you're kind of limited. Uh, you could get up to ABS with with this setup, um, but you're, I'm not gonna recommend you're constantly printing at 260, even though the tube's supposed to be able to handle it. Um, that's pretty high temperature for, for the tubing to be sitting on the nozzle. You'll probably end up with jams a lot faster. Something like this is definitely uh, a huge improvement where you can print basically all the materials from PLA. Um, you know, I, w I wouldn't go as far as, unless you've totally customized your printer uh, as to saying it would print peak or anything like that, but you'll be good with nylon carbon fibers, some polycarbonates. Uh, temperature's around 320 max with this one, where this one, you're not gonna go over 260. Um, so definitely a huge improvement. You can see a lot of similarities to other print print designs, print head designs, excuse me, in the hot ends. Uh, a lot of similarities in the heat breaks between other companies. So uh, I haven't tried one out yet personally, but I'm definitely gonna have to install this and try and print some nylon with it on maybe an Ender 6 or something. All right, guys, that was my comparison video of the high temperature hot end, the new style hot end that Creality has available, and their old school original from this thing's been going for many years. I hope you guys like this video. I hope, you, I hope it helps you decide what hot end you might want to use. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, leave us some ideas of things you might want to see, and we'll see you in the next video.